All right, guys, just wanted to uh, talk to you about a utility called Putty real quick. I uh, find that I'm using this quite frequently in my IT classes to help uh, give students the ability to log in remotely to a Linux box, access it, and uh, kind of play around and learn. What I want to do is just kind of show the basics of how to pull up and access a, um, a instance of Putty. Uh, so first thing, I'm going to take it from the beginning and we're going to actually get Putty. Um, so I'm going to pull up a web browser here. And I'm going to try to keep it in the recording screen. And I'm going to go to putty.org. Putty.org is the uh, project main page for the Putty resource, which is basically just an SSH client. Uh, allows you to, it's like Telnet, uh, but it's uh, an encrypted connection. It allows you to connect to a remote machine as if you were actually sitting in front of it. Where it says you can download Putty here, go to click on that. And then scroll down to where it says putty.exe. I'm going to go ahead and get that. Alright, now it's going to ask me if I want to save the file. Yes, you can save it. It's trusted from this source. You can save it. You can run it. Uh, I'm not going to save it or run it because I've already actually got it installed on my computer. So once you save and run it, what you'll get is you'll get this. All right, this is the main putty configuration window. So I recommend saving it to your computer. That way you always have it. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and close the browser for now, get off the putty.org web page, and uh, show you how to access uh, basically your computer. So. Uh, getting over the internet uh, from one machine to another does include uh, port forwarding through firewalls. So I'm going to assume that whatever you put in here for the host name is going to be accessible by the client computer. All right. All right. So I'm going to put my IP address in here. Um, once you put your IP address in, typically the port that you'll access SSH on is going to be port 22, even though you can change that. Uh, to whatever port you prefer to listen on. Uh, I feel it does enhance security if you don't use the default SSH port but something random between 0 and 65,000 whatever. Um, but for this tutorial default port is 22. Uh, it's typically what you'll connect on for SSH. So once you've typed in the IP address you've got the port <coughs> you'll hit open. Now, if your server is configured properly, it's going to respond with a login as. Okay, it's asking you for credentials and what you want to log in as. So I'll put in my username, which is blurred out. And then uh, I will wait till it prompts me for a password, and then I'm going to enter my password. Now, what you'll notice is that when you enter the password, nothing shows up. All right, that's a security precaution, so it's not even going to look as though you're typing. And there you are, you're connected to your machine as if you're sitting right in front of it. So again, what SSH is, is it gives you the ability to remotely connect encrypted to a remote machine. All right, and since this is a Linux box that I'm connecting to, it's a Debian box, it provides me with that user uh, at that remote server. Um, but again, this was just how to use the basics of PuTTY to connect to a remote machine. All right, and then of course from there, uh, you can do whatever you want. You know, list files. Again, it's as if you're sitting right in front of it. All right, thanks for listening, guys. I hope this helped out. Again, questions, comments, concerns, you can drop them in the comments section. And if you like these videos, please feel free to subscribe. We'll see you next time.